flashback tracks. Travel back in time each Friday to an era of big hair, leg warmers, and Walkmans. Far out. Veg out with some clips from Downtime Broadcasting's promotional audio cassette magazine from the 80s and 90s, right here on the World Wide Web. Today's topic is popping the question. Surely every salesperson knows the three traumatic questions in life, but just in case you forgot, they are, will you marry me? Doctor, give it to me straight. How much time do I have? And so, can I write up the order? All three questions seem so hard to ask. All three questions often tie glib and fluent tongues into knots. Sure, will you marry me affects your future and your happiness. How much time do I have is about life itself. And there's great fear and anticipation. These two questions may well be hard to utter, but may I write the order? It's easy to say and easy to do and should be part of your strategy on virtually every sales call. Why, then, do so many salespeople fail to pop the question at the right time or fail to pop it at all? There are many presentation techniques, many sales pitches, many trial closes, but all of these lead to a precise moment, a precise time when all talk must cease and it's time to ask for the order. Don't let that opportunity pass because of the fear of getting a rejection. Don't let it go because you feel it's premature. Experience teaches you to sense the right time. The signals are clear from body language, an easy smile, a positive reaction, a nod. And when you sense the time, stop and pop. Stop and pop. Stop and pop. Pop the question, may I write an order? Your aggressive gesture will be appreciated, and more often than not, you will time it just right. If not, if you get a not yet or a just plain no, then you can head right into the next question, searching directly for the customer's objections and answering them directly on your way back to another close. Perhaps they need more data, more time, or need alternate ideas. Making the sale involves setting a strategy in your preparation and presentation. Closing the sale is your ultimate goal, and it can only be done if you stop and pop, stop and pop, stop and pop the question. May I write the order? Or how about, Mr. Jones, can I write it up now? Put the word stop and pop in the front compartment of your sales psyche. Think about it as you work with a prospect. Use it, and when you do a post-mortem on a sale you may not have made, review in your mind if you did stop and pop. All you need to do is ask, and ye shall receive. Travel back in time with us next Friday as we share more clips from the 80s and 90s on another rad episode of Flashback Tracks, exclusively on Promo Corner. Time to bounce.